is technology and creativity a love, hate, or frenemy relationship? Technology uh, and creativity go hand in hand. In fact, some of the most creative people that I know are technologists. Uh, so um, they love to create new things. They love to create new products, just like folks in advertising and media are creative and like to create things. They do it in a different way, um, and they use different skill sets to do that. Uh, but the marriage of those two things, I think, is what makes for sort of the most exciting new offerings. I think there's there's a real there's a real balance that needs to be struck between the two, because I think there's there's a sense of um, you can when you go too far in the in the technology and data angle, there's a sense that you can optimize your way to certainly better improve performance, but you're selling you're potentially selling yourself short on all the different possibilities that are out there in terms of creating a narrative, creating a brand, creating a message. Um, and the sense you have to be open in exploring, um, in exploring those possibilities, those new creative directions, while also accepting that if the data tells you right away that it's not working, pulling it back, changing and readjusting. Well, I think the relationship between technology and creativity is probably twofold. There's sort of enabling technology that we've always had from special effects in movies to animation, to the technology and the cameras we use to the internet. And in that way, I think creativity and technology are married to each other. There are some ways that I think technology is sort of the bitter enemy of creativity. And you know, the, the old Steve Jobs quotes about testing, that's sort of, you know, that we don't test anything. And that's sort of everything on the internet now is so heavily measured that it can definitely stifle creativity. On balance, though, I think it's a plus.